Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. This is your boy get off my beard. What we're going to be doing today is creating a door that opens with a trigger box. It's really simple to do and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So what I've done is I've already created what we're going to be doing. So you walk into the trigger box, boom, the door starts to open. After about five seconds or so, give it a sec it then closes by itself behind you okay so we're gonna go ahead and create this so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two things here and I'll just duplicate those I'm then going to simply scale those up and stretch it out like this because it wasn't big enough for me to walk through before yay so now that I've done that um, let's go ahead and go over here I'm just gonna scale this guy up don't really need this yet but what the hey you never know right but uh, I do have that glass material on here and let's just go ahead and rename this to glass and I'll put it on statue glass makes it a little bit more realistic looking kinda like that okay so anyway who uh, now we're gonna go ahead and recreate all of this stuff that uh, we have over here so first of all let's go ahead and move this backwards like that alright now first thing we need to do is create a trigger so I'm going to drag this box trigger into here I'm then going to scale this up a little bit more like this and then I want to make it go on both sides of the door because if we had walls here that you couldn't go through you would need to be able to access the door on both sides okay so that's why that's happening um, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this trigger box here whoops whoa went a little crazy there guys Come on. Oh, come on. Rename this trigger box to door trigger. Like this. Yes, I want to delete this. Yes, I want to delete this. Yes, I want to delete this. And yes, I want to delete this. Okay. So, anywho, now that we have our trigger made, we need to actually create a matinee for this. So, what I'm going to do is click on my door, go to cinematics, add matinee. You'll see here that this screen pops up. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller just so that you guys can kind of see everything that's happening. So I'll click on the door. I'll then right click down here in this section, go to add new empty group, and I'm going to call this door trigger animation. I'll then right click on that and go to add new movement track. And you'll see here that it kind of creates a little timeline for me. I'm going to go ahead and drag this uh, starting point here down to three seconds okay I'll then drag my green part here all the way up to three seconds and now back on frame zero you see here we have this little red like arrow looking thing and that is a keyframe so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go to the three second mark I'll move this out of the way I want to go to my move tool and I want to move this up the door frame like so. Now on matinee, if I hit enter, you'll see it creates a keyframe that I can now scrub through that has a door which moves for me. Okay? That's it. That's all you need for the animation because we're going to use some cool stuff in blueprints to make it go up and down. So now that we've done that, we can go to our open level blueprint. And this here, guys, is exactly what we need to create. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. And we're going to recreate it. So let's go ahead and click on the trigger box here. Uh, right there. Go back to our level blueprint. We're right clicking. We are then going to go. Wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm on my door trigger. Okay. Right click and go to on begin play. And let's click this trigger box what is happening um, door trigger instance it's a trigger box I don't get it there we go alright so if you right click go to add event collision and add on actor begin overlap next thing we need to do is we need to click on our um, uh, matinee sequence which is right right here okay and we're gonna call this door open with close animation alright 
go back to our first level blueprint and we're going to simply create a reference to it just like that. Now comes the fun part. We need to drag off of here and we need to go to play and take off the context sensitive and right here under uh, cinematic we're going to click on play and we're then going to hook this up to here we'll then drag off of here and put a delay once the delay is in there we'll put that delay at say 4.0 for four seconds and then I want to drag off of here and go to reverse and under cinematic once again we'll click on that and we'll then connect this up to here and that's very simple so what this basically does is when we go over the trigger box it plays the reference of our anime uh, matinee sequence after it's completed that sequence right here we then delay it for four seconds before we start the reverse of the matinee actor to go back down so we'll hit compile we'll go to our level we'll hit play and now when we walk in the trigger box our door opens we wait four seconds and it starts to close again okay so now if we walk back into that trigger box again we can go through the door bam on the other side the door then closes behind us okay just like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did be sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comment section guys what kind of tutorials you're looking for and I'm sure I can get to them as soon as possible have a good one guys peace